Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here today, and let me welcome you to the maiden voyage of P&O's newest ship, the Arvia. We arrived today in Southampton, and let me just tell you, you cannot miss this ship. It is massive, and it has the signature P&O Cruises Union Jack painting on the side. It has 18 decks and a capacity of about 6,000. So because of this size, it's gonna take a little bit of time for us to fully explore the ship. But what I wanted to do today, of course, is welcome you, but give you a tour of our inside cabin. Now we've said before that we really prefer inside cabins for a few reasons. Not only are they economical, but they usually are pretty quiet. And when you wanna sleep, they are very dark. If you want to get out and see things on a cruise ship, leave your cabin, meet people, and get out on deck. Get some walking in and really enjoy the expansive view that you can see from up on deck. So let me start by telling you that our cabin is on the 15th floor. This is cabin 15727 and this is located aft on the 15th floor. This is a cabin that is intended for up to four persons because the couch folds out into a bunk bed. And we're going to show you at the end of this video how that bunk bed actually works. My first impressions are that this cabin is lovely. It's decorated with warm tones and blue highlights. The bed is a standard size like you're gonna find on most cruise ships. And essentially this is two twin beds that can be either positioned separately in the room or pushed together where they make a bed that's just a little bit larger than a queen size bed. There's outlets present on the wall with a USB port in the bottom of each lamp. On one side of the bed is a very small recessed shelf that is attached to a number of shelves behind a door, including a very small safe that is large enough for perhaps a tablet, some valuables, and maybe a small laptop. Once we're in the bathroom, you'll see that they have the typical white company goods that you're going to find on most P&O cruises. Pump bottles are furnished, including hand wash, shampoo, and body wash. You can ask your steward for some conditioner. Also, another really important thing for most people is that there is a retractable clothesline in the shower. As you walk toward the door, there are four hooks on the wall enabling you to hang things. So if you're somebody like us who likes to take magnetic hooks, you probably won't need them. Also on the opposite side is a small wardrobe with a full length mirror on the outside and those darn anti-theft hangers are in the closet. Ask your cabin steward if you like regular free hanging hangers. You can place your shoes on the bottom and there is a small shelf that's mostly occupied by your life vests. As promised, we'll go over the sofa bed in the room that turns into a bunk bed for four passengers. To operate the bunk beds, there is a small pole that is at the lower part of the back of the sofa. You will pull on that, and after a few little tugs, the upper bed will hinge forward, and then you have very nice bunk beds. And just to close it up, go ahead and push it back down. You can put the pillows on it, and then you have a sofa for the day. Of course, you can always ask your cabin steward to help you out with this. Always remember to make meaningful, and healthy travel happen. And thanks for joining us from the maiden voyage of P&O's newest ship, the Arvia.